so when I went into high school, my experience was zilch in terms of running. And so for the first six weeks, I paid a huge price in terms of shin splints and all kinds of other things. But somehow, again, I called by the grace of God, I didn't break down. I made the team, finished sixth in the state meet. We won the state cross country meet by one point. And I got a letter jacket. <laughs> Just sure there was a girlfriend right behind it. But that, that's kind of where I was. And then this amazing thing happened. Uh, and so I want to share some of that at some point in here. Uh, maybe the, the first grade. You talk about the, you went to a meeting, you never heard about cross country, etc. Could you talk a little bit about that meeting and what? I was a, a sophomore in high school, and uh, our school was large. It was a three year school. We had about 3,300 students, so about 1,000 for class. And, uh, and during the fall, they always had orientation for various schools. And since I'd already been cut from the basketball team, mm -hmm. uh, didn't want to play football, the only other sport that was available was cross country. Now, I had absolutely no idea what cross country was. This is my naive thinking at this point. I thought cross country is probably all track and field. So naively, I went up and signed that waiver that you all have probably your athletes sign. I will not sue the coach. <laughs> I won't blame him for anything. And I went out for the team. And we had about 100 guys out for the team. And that's before Todd and I. So, you know, it was way back in the 60s. Uh, you know, I'll just share my first day of practice. We met in front of the gym. And we did a few calisthenics, you know, waiting for everybody to get there. And then we went off across down this little street up to this park about a mile away uh, called College Hill Park. Now, peer pressure can be a marvelous thing. And it wasn't this case because I hadn't run further than a quarter of a mile in my whole life. It was about a mile up to the park. I started off maybe kind of half in, halfway in the middle of the pack. And as we got out to the park, I was almost dead last. And then, it, and we may share some of the, some of the workouts, Coach Timlin was a very strong disciplinarian. He was a Marine from World War II, so he had high expectations. And we did all these different drills around the park, around hills, up around trees, everything else, for about the next hour, hour and a half. I progressed from the middle of the pack to almost being dead last. And then, fortunately, it was downhill back to the school. <laughs> I got back, took a shower, went home and saw my mom. And she said, I got dinner for you. And I knew it was late. I said, Mom, I can't eat. I'm too tired. I went to bed. Now. Think of this as your own experience. What happens when you've done too much running and you don't have the background? I couldn't get out of bed the next day. I walked up the stairs backwards to breakfast. I said, Mom, I'll be home early today. I'm done with this cross-country stuff. But you know, God works in wonderful ways. I went to school, and my soon-to-be teammates said, why don't you come back out with the team? First period, I said, no. Sixth period, second period, maybe. Third period, uh, okay. By the time I got to fifth and sixth period, I found myself out for the cross country team. And that's one of the things I share with the young runners. Just because it's difficult doesn't mean it can't be accomplished. And just because you're running into circumstances that seem to be beyond your control, there are ways to start working through that. So that's how it all began, Ken. I mean, I, I was dead last on the team. I, I was one of the guys who put soap in the soap dish and hung out towels and was hoping somebody would graduate so I could move up. But I made the C team, which wasn't junior varsity varsity. But by the end of the season, I was number one on the cross-country team and we finished sixth in the state meet. So it was an amazing turnaround that year at three. <coughs>